Good morning and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. We have the beautiful star here. Don't get too close to the flames there, darling. He's smart enough not to do that. He's like, what is this? What have you brought in fire into the house? Anyway, star is here. <laughs> this is your uh, daily read for Tuesday the 27th. Hello, beautiful. It's very early in the morning here, so you probably will hear George crowing. I haven't even let him out yet. All the chooks are still in the chook pen. So let's see what energies we have for today coming through for Tuesday the 27th. We're going to look at energies around the home. Energies, oh, we've had the bright mother come out as an overall energy. Beautiful. So energies around the home, energies around career and finance, and energies around love and relationship. So it looks like we're going to have Mr. Star snuggled in for the reading today. This is okay. So let's pull some cards. This is for home, <clears throat> home and love and relationship. Oh no, it's career, love and relationship, and message from the universe. Okay, and we'll get our lovely Rider Waits out and have a look and see what energies are coming through for that. I do think the Bright Mother coming through. This is Venus energy, lovely Libra energy coming through for today. Things feeling. There goes George, <laughs> George the rooster, if you're wondering. Some people will go, what's that strange noise in the background? <laughs> and it's like if they're not used to the channel, it's like, that's George. Uh, someone was like, well, here is strange, someone being strangled in the background. Okay, so let's start up. The Bright Mother, number 16, isn't she beautiful? And this is all around, it's a lovely day of replenishment, looking after yourself uh, just uh, connecting in with your body, very sensual, uh, sensual energy as well. It might be some of you might want to run around naked, <laughs> have a nude swim or something like that. But it is coming back to the divine feminine. It's a very soft, uh, nurturing, fertile energy to connect in with. And so it could be relationships with mother coming up. It could be something nice. It feels like soft, nice energy. So something nice could be a phone call from your mother if you have a nice relationship. So something nice coming through. I do feel like some lovely balance on in a relationship, a uh, uh, body relationship and even yeah, just a loving, it's a loving energy coming through. So it's a nice energy. So let's look at the energy around the home, the two of wands and friends. So I do feel like, again, there is harmony coming in. <laughs> Thank you, Star. There is harmony coming in here. Taking some new steps, some next steps about what it is that you actually really want here. And, you know, if you are, this friends energy is... It's not so much a romantic energy coming in with those that you're living with. So you might be living with friends and it actually feels like you're uh, heading in a positive direction. For some of you, this might actually be a decision. You know, it's moving forward, looking at what you want. Do you want to be staying with? If you're in a share house, could be making a decision whether you want to stay there or not as well. That could be the energy coming around for, for a lot of you. But it does, you know, this friend's card is harmony. There is love and support here for a next step, for a next decision. Now, I'm also getting in terms of if you're living with significant others or partners or families, um, this is, it's kind of a friendship level. You're interacting on, <clears throat> you know, uh, you have the romantic love side of a relationship and then also for a really good relationship, you're just good friends as well. So, yeah, it's kind of tapping into that that area, that zone of the relationship today, which is actually really positive. But, yeah, I do feel like, um, you know, you are thinking further afield around the home. You're getting a higher perspective, um, looking at taking and looking at what it is that you want to do next with your that area. Now, career, oh, career and um, job and finance and career, we have Glencona and the Eight of Swords. So this is probably the most challenging aspect that's come out so far. Um, there might be people you're having to deal with, uh, narcissistic people in terms of at work or in clients or business partners, however this is working out. You're dealing with some sort of narcissist here, this glaucoma, someone that might not be... Um, 
there's a bit of gaslighting. They might not be particularly honest with the way they're speaking. They might be leading you down the right path. You might be feeling very stuck in this energy, what to do with about this person, this energy that's around you. So I do feel like it's actually interesting because just as a jo- overall energy, if we're not talking about a direct person here, um, this is an untrustworthy person. But it, at first, this energy actually stars off now. This feels like it's leading you down the wrong path. It's like, well, how did I get here? Uh, where did I end up? It's kind of a lets you go down this path of illusion about somebody or a place that you're working. Uh, but there is, or your career, but it is saying that at some point you're going to feel stuck. You're not going to go down that path. You're going to be stopped from going down that path. And that's actually strangely a blessing in disguise. So, uh, yeah, I feel like you're going to, uh, just in terms of your day at work, it doesn't feel like it's related. It could be related to money, funds being stuck and not being sure, uh, waiting not working with someone who's not trustworthy in terms of your money. Just be careful with that today. Uh, And, yeah, it's very much maybe we're looking at like uh, global economies as well. Things are feeling a bit stuck. You know, there is this narcissistic behaviour around, so that could be coming in as well. But I do feel like it's like you're going down a path and you get stopped no matter where you're going, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. So you know, but it might feel like frustration at that level. So we have in love and relationships, all the fool and Penelope Dreamweaver. Beautiful. So there's this lovely, fresh energy coming in, new dreams coming in. Penelope Dreamweaver gathers all the dreams from wherever it is in your energy, energy, both of your energies, wherever it is in your past, wherever it is, she gathers these dreams to you. So it feels like there's a new fresh start for you and for your partner, for the relationship. If you're in a relationship, yes, it feels like there's this lovely new energy around that is associated and connected to your dreams together and it's getting closer and closer. It feels like you're getting closer to your dreams. But it's exactly the same message if you're single. It's just this is you embarking out in a new energy by yourself feeling free and feeling happy and stepping into this new energy and a dream does return a dream yeah a dream does re- return it does get you one step closer by stepping into the new taking a risk it, t- it gets you one step closer to that dream so yeah beautiful which might be meeting someone it might just be whatever however that uh whatever that is for you, because it might not be meeting someone. You might be happy to be on your own. It might be a dream of travel or a dream of owning your own home. Whatever it is, it's that one step closer, and that's what we're getting with the two of wands here, (laughs) taking that next step as well. So it is very connected to the home as well. So we have as an overall message, we have himself has come out, and this you know, it actually reminds me a lot of a Jesus type energy, this himself energy, but it's kind of a bit more, um, it's like Jesus meets Pan, the old uh, fertility god, if any of you are kind of into that sort of stuff. And it's very much, I'm watching you, soul and spirit are watching you and guiding you and keeping you on the right path. Particularly, it feels really good around the home and the relationship sector Particularly, I do feel like in terms of money and career, this is coming in and helping and guiding you because that's the area where it's feeling stuck, where you might go down the wrong path for a while. And so this is this energy is coming in, in and just guiding you and aligning you to where you're to your soul, to your soul energy. So, yeah, it's actually really beautiful. It's really beautiful connecting you to you, to a very deeper level of you. So between himself and the bright mother coming in, this is very much the divine, a lovely balance of divine feminine and divine masculine. And so there's a lovely balancing coming in, uh, an expansion of that today. So that's really nice. Beautiful energy for Tuesday the 27th. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.